You're listening to Chicago's Afternoon News here on 720 WGN. On the phone line now, Congressman Darren LaHood from Peoria, Republican. Welcome. With you and your listeners today. Uh, it's good to have you. Also, uh, Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, a Democrat from, well, he represents a runway at O'Hare, Congressman o- <laughs> Hey, uh, hi, Steve. Hi, Darren. How are you? Doing well. Uh, good, to, good to hear your voice, Raj. All right, so hey, same here, man. The idea is we're all coming around the table on this Thanksgiving holiday. You guys have no trouble agreeing anyway, do you? Oh, on no. some things we agree. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we agree on uh, many things. Uh, you know, not uh, we have a few philosophical differences, but we are good friends. Uh, our families know each other. And, of course, uh, we both uh, come from Peoria, and so uh, we, we, we have a good friendship. So do you um, each just won re-election. My first question for both of you, we'll start with Raja Krishnamurthy. Who won by the wider margin? <laughs> well, I... Uh... I won with 73% of the vote, uh, and um, I, my district is not 73% Democrat in the suburbs here, so I'm proud that I won a lot of Republicans, um, and I think that uh, I, 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 I carry that with me every day to Congress. i got to fight for everybody, not just people who uh, might agree with me or, or he, who, who even voted for me. i got to uh, represent everybody in my district. Congressman LaHood? Well, uh, Raja beat me. I got a little over seventy-two percent uh, in my district, and uh, and uh, we, uh, listen, I was honored to have the support of of my constituents and humbled by their support in my reelection. I think uh, I interviewed uh, Congressman Krishnamurthy, Congressman LaHood earlier, and I said about seventy percent, and he was quick to correct me. So, yeah, that <laughs> that seventy-three counts. Um, Congressman LaHood, first, the uh, president today pardoned Michael Flynn. Not uh, unexpected, but uh, still it's significant. What is your reaction to that? Well, I have concerns with it. And remember, Steve, I was very much against the president pardoning or commuting the sentence of Rod Bogoyevich. I led a letter on that. I spoke out vehemently. Uh, I didn't think it was the right thing to do, and I still don't think it was the right thing to do. I actually support legislation that says any president, Republican or Democrat, shouldn't be able to exercise the pardon authority after an election because you don't go back before the voters. I'm not sure President Trump would have done this before the election. Um, I think uh, no president should have that authority unless they go before the voters. So remember with Michael Flynn, uh, he pleaded guilty in a federal court. He also lied to the vice president. That's why he was fired. He lied to Vice President Pence. Uh, He was let go because of that. So for those reasons, uh, I have grave concerns. I like that idea of uh, not uh, being able to pardon after an election. Congressman Krishnamurthy, what's your reaction? I actually agree with Darren. Um, you know, basically this uh, gentleman, by the way, he, you know, he, he did serve in the armed forces, and he needs to be com- commended for that, Lieutenant General Flynn. But then he uh, turned a different direction. He twice pled guilty to FBI investigators about his conversations with the Russian ambassador. Um, and uh, uh, I also agree that we need to bring um, greater regulation of the pardon power. I've introduced a bill to bring uh, transparency to the pardon power in terms of um, understanding uh, the timing uh, and even in some cases uh, whether the president might attempt to pardon himself, uh, which, by the way, is allowed under the Constitution. So these are, um, I think, common sense reforms that I think Republicans and Democrats can get behind. Yeah, we were talking about that a little bit earlier, about whether he can pardon himself. How about the idea of pardoning someone who's not been charged with the crime, Congressman LaHood? I'm thinking of his, his kids. Well, listen, I, th- that's a, a legal area that's really unprecedented. I'm not sure that's been done before. Um, I, again, uh, I think that would really be an abuse of that power. I don't think that's what the Constitution envisioned when the pardon, pardon power was put in there. Uh, as a former federal prosecutor who's worked in this system, again, I think that's such a terrible precedent. Um, and I don't think that, uh, w- you know, the president will not be looked upon kindly in history uh, if he goes down that road. Congressman LaHood, Republican of Peoria, did you watch President-elect Biden's speech today? I did not. I was doing a number of Thanksgiving events, so I didn't see it. Congressman Krishnamurthy? I just read about it. I didn't, I didn't actually see it. Okay. Uh, well, I'll strap that then, because it was, it was just an interesting tone that he sent. Uh, I thought it was uh, uh, distinct. Um, he's also talked about naming a Republican to his, his cabinet. Um, Krishnamurthy, you think that's a good idea? I think it's a great idea. I think 
that is, I think, important to help heal the divisions in this country, Steve. I think that, you know, there's so many fine Republicans um, and patriots that need to be incorporated into the administration in appropriate roles. Um, This has been a tradition for past Republican and Democratic presidents to appoint uh, you know, members of the other party into their cabinets, and I think he should do the same. Well, it's known in the LaHood household, I know. Uh, Ray LaHood, <laughs> uh, Darren's dad, was the uh, first Treasury Secretary, not Treasury, but Transportation Secretary for President Obama, correct? That's correct. Uh, so did he suffer any, because, you know, that was, that was 92, uh, but uh, a lot longer ago than just in years, I think, when it comes to the tenor in Washington. Did he suffer any repercussions among fellow Republicans for taking that post? Well, he never. That was kind of his last job in politics. He, he actually came in, in in 08 and worked through 13 under the Obama administration. And, um, you know, he enjoyed that. It was the best job I think he ever had. Uh, but he never ran for anything after that again. Um, so it, it's hard to tell. But, you know, uh, obviously not all Republicans are happy when you go work for a Democrat. But that's not why he made the decision. He thought it was important to serve the country. Uh, and, and listen, the Transportation Department is a very nonpartisan, and it should be, a bipartisan organization. And I think he tried to reflect that, uh, serving in that position. And listen, I agree with Raj. I think there are many qualified Republicans that are out there. I hope Vice President-elect Biden um, considers them, and I think it would be good for the country. All right, Congressman LaHood, we're at the Thanksgiving dinner table. We've got just a minute left. What would you like to tell Democrats you want from them in the coming year? <laughs> Well, listen, I, I think uh, there, I, I think it, um, if you look at this election, what didn't work in this election was socialism, defunding police, some of these left wing uh, ideological ideas. I think if we focus on infrastructure, transportation, workforce development, legal immigration reform, you're going to find bipartisan support. And I hope Vice President um, elect Biden will do that. I know Raja feels strongly on a number of these issues, and I think that will get us off on the right foot in terms of we have divided government. It's going to be with us for a while now. Um, And and, uh, we ought to focus on things where we can find commonality. All right, let's ask one of the socialists, Democrat Christian Morthney. Do you? uh, (laughs) I'm sorry. Did you say I was social? Yes, I'm definitely social. What would you like Um, from the Republicans this year? Look, I think that there's so much that we can work on together. Uh, Darren mentioned some of them, but, you know, the, the top pressing issue is, uh, getting through this pandemic, we have to um, mitigate the harm from the virus, we have, but then we have to kill it with a vaccine. And so we have to agree on a good vaccine distribution program once we uh, show that it's safe and effective. And then the other issue is we got to bring civility back to our politics. Uh, this is incredibly important. We can't fight for economic development and we can't fight for good infrastructure and fight against hunger uh, in this country if we're fighting each other. And we got to just stop. And that's, to me, the the biggest message uh, on Thanksgiving Eve that uh, I believe that the electorate sent us in this last election. That's Democrat Raja Krishnamurthy. Thank you, uh, Republican Darren LaHood. Thank you as well. Happy Thanksgiving to both you and your families. You too. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody.